Hey, what's up everyone? It's Gabby and welcome back to my channel. It's been such a long time, so long that I'm kind of embarrassed. I am a slacker sometimes and <laughs> I'm not happy that I'm very irregular with my schedule. I swear I know <laughs> I'm not just like oblivious and I just don't know when I'm posting. I know that I'm slacking so I guess that's the first step to fixing it is realizing that I have a problem. But anyways, I'm Gabby and if you are new here, welcome. Uh, what's up? If you are returning, welcome back. I figured I would just give you guys an update. I'm really trying to expand on the topics and the things that I do on my channel. I really want to get involved in some things that are just fun for me and fun for you guys to watch. You know, no one wants to sit here and watch me talk all the time. I want to do actual fun things, so um, please let me know what you guys want to see. I'm trying to come up with some own ideas on my own, but, you know, those ideas aren't always uh, super, like, abundant in my mind for some reason. They're just, like, they're just elsewhere. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys have been staying safe and um, hanging in there with everything that's going on. I know a lot of people, uh, things are changing with their jobs and the way that you have to go to the stores and things like that with COVID. I know a lot has changed. So I figured I'll just get right into the video. Um, so I am super excited. I can't believe that it's almost been two years since I first got my braces. I got them in December of 2018, I guess. Um, I don't know why it's so hard for me to think about that. I guess the calendar year kind of throws me off. It's the end of the year it's almost it was almost 2019 but it was still 2018 so you get what I mean but I've almost had them for two years I'm just a few months shy of being at two years and my orthodontist for the first time in ever she said that um in just a few visits I'll have them off which is like what like when she said that I was like couldn't imagine that there would be a time that I would ever not have them. It's just, it's just my norm now. Um, the last time I didn't have them, I had some, uh, very interesting looking teeth. So it's going to be quite an adjustment. It's going to be quite an adjustment not to have them, but I'm super excited. I'll go ahead and get right into it and show you guys what they look like now. Let me get really close. Let me get this off. let me get back um so as you can see they're pretty straight there july 1st they gave me you know wire tighten whatever the same thing basically and then but they changed my rubber bands last time they looked a little different i'll insert a picture here if i have one but this time they go from here to here they previously went here here and um there was two at the top, two at the bottom, so it kind of made a little triangle, and that was on both sides. Um, but now it no longer connects to my bottom canines. They added little brackets at the bottom on both sides behind my canines, and they um, took, the, took the wires that they had above these teeth, they took those off. We don't use those anymore. So when they did that, they, they're just kind of like correcting some things, tweaking some things with my bite. I had a really bad crossbite. Um, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. Um, it was pretty bad, so they're basically just working on correcting it. I, I noticed, yeah, it's still like a little bit off, so I assume they're gonna be changing rubber bands around a little bit before they actually take them off, so probably I'll be done right at the two-year mark. But I did want to ask you guys something because I've been kind of on the fence about it. As you can see, this tooth has a little bit of a chip in it. That's because the way that they were laying before, like this, they it was laying against the tooth and kind of like grinding it down over the years. Since those teeth grew in, that's how they were. So they were ground down for oh, several years and they probably would have continued grinding down if I didn't get braces. Um, basically, when they put the bracket on this tooth, I guess they positioned it a little higher then in the middle of my tooth, that way they could bring it down a little bit because it was initially a lot shorter. So their goal was to kind of match these. That way 
um, once the treatment is done, they can, like, they'll match. But the thing is, as I'm looking at the pictures and I'm looking at myself in the video, I can tell that they don't match and they may not be exact at the end of my treatment, which was kind of my goal because I've been so long. I've been, I paid for the treatment, you know, I obviously want straight teeth, so I kind of am going for a perfect smile here. But they said that the tooth will um, be around the same length as the other front tooth and they may just grind the bottom of this tooth off um, to make it match. My concern is that it will either be too short and also sensitive. So that's what I want you guys to tell me about in the comments. I want your guys' opinions on what you think I should do and if I'm not maybe factoring in something because if they grind it down and it matches, that's fine. But I'm also concerned that it's gonna be sensitive and cause me other problems. I know people get pe teeth ground down all the time and it doesn't cause them a problem, but you know, um, I just don't wanna have any problems with that. And then also, I'm worried that it's gonna be too short still. I'd, I would really like it to be symmetrical. The other option that I was considering is going and get the tooth repaired, like, you know, get them to do the cement filler, whatever it is that they do to repair teeth, you know, with chipped cracks, all that stuff. You know, dentists are very skilled and they can do that for people with even even larger, uh, you know, cracks and dents than I have. Dents, like chips, I meant. Um, it's very, very subtle. And I don't know if it's worth it to go and have them fill in something that's this big and might cost several hundred dollars. It could be worth it because it would be a, a forever fix and I would have symmetrical teeth. The only problem with that is that my orthodontist, one of the assistants that was working on my teeth, she was talking about grinding down the tooth once the braces are off. And she said that um, I asked her um, what she thought about a repair instead and she said that because it's like on the end of my tooth it might like pop off and like go all natural if I can and I definitely understand where she's coming from I just didn't know um, that it could come off because I kind of thought it was designed to be a permanent thing I'm all for whatever doesn't cause me pain unnecessary money and gives me the best looking smile that's most important to me getting the best looking smile yeah so let me know what you guys think if you've ever had it done and if what you think because I um, physically, I don't know if I can like measure this to see if they're the same. They're about the same, but um, let me know what you guys think. I'll insert some pictures. Um, and if you guys have any experience with something like that, please let me know because um, I would love some input. My family members don't really know because they just have no idea. That would really help me out a lot. And if you guys don't already know, I posted my first TikTok a couple of weeks a couple of weeks ago. I never thought I would actually get on TikTok, but then people are talking about it getting banned and things like that. I don't know if that's true, but it seems like it's still a thing for the time being. But anyways, I've been posting on there a couple videos, hoping to connect with more people. So um, if you want to follow me there, I'll link it down below. And also, let me know what you guys want to see next. I really want to dedicate more of my time to making a fun channel for me to connect with all of you guys and do fun stuff. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about my tooth and also video ideas coming up. Also, one last thing is my channel is approaching 1,000 subscribers. That's a lot of people. It's been um, a while in the making and I wanted to do a giveaway of some sort for um, just for fun once I reach 1,000. So we will also be doing that. So you guys can let me know if you want like to pick the item or if you want like a mystery box, but whatever, we'll do whatever you guys want to do. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.